Tulane University School of Architecture in New Orleans is working with IBM and Johnson Controls to advance campus-wide sustainability and energy efficiency in the wake of Hurricane Katrina's destruction in 2005. Well, Hurricane Katrina impacted the entire region and this university was impacted somewhere to the tune of $700 million of damages. The best way to um, describe what the campus looked like after Hurricane Katrina was it looked like a war zone. As the campus faced a massive rebuilding effort, the university committed to achieving a more sustainable infrastructure. It estimates that the energy use from its buildings represents two-thirds of its carbon footprint. The project with IBM and Johnson Controls will help reduce energy use by first transforming the century-old Richardson Memorial Hall, the home of Tulane School of Architecture, into a smarter building. My vision for Richardson Memorial Hall and its future is a building that becomes visible in the way that it operates at every level in the way that energy and water flows operate, in the way that the building lives as almost a breathing entity itself. And by doing so, our students, our faculty, our public will become more and more aware of how this building operates within its environmental context. The Richardson Memorial Hall project is extremely significant. First of all, because it's a school of architecture. Educating students at that level Having them define a problem and use design to resolve that problem is critical. Like many century-old buildings, Richardson Memorial Hall's heating, cooling, wiring, and water equipment had been installed in pieces over the last hundred years. The IBM solution will help the systems act more holistically to significantly reduce the natural resources it currently uses. The role of digital technology in the creation of energy efficient buildings is phenomenally ahead uh, today where it was even 10 years ago. So we have an opportunity to look at how we can integrate digital technology with best practices of building systems to really create an exemplar for other historic buildings and even contemporary buildings on campus. An intelligent building approach starts with a recognition of the building's own qualities inherently as a structure. It then moves forward with the integration of digital technology and new building systems that allow the building, this historic structure, to operate at a much greater level of efficiency in terms of its energy consumption and the way it operates programmatically for this School of Architecture. Working with IBM, we're making the campus smarter by gaining access to data and also using the software to evaluate that data and tell us what's actually going on in the buildings. The new IBM Intelligent Building Management software takes the data holistically from a building and applies IBM Advanced Analytics and Automation software to help building owner operators really make sense of what's happening in their building to drive the greatest efficiency. The IBM Intelligent Building Management solution will give us the opportunity to measure in real time how the building is operating and to track that over time as well. In the intelligent building space, partnership is key to our success. We partner with companies like Johnson Controls that provide the building management systems and really work together to take it to the next level for energy efficiency and optimization. Modern building is instrumented in ways that people can't imagine. All of those systems are talking to you and if you listen to what they say, data can help you make intelligent decisions to optimize the comfort of the building and minimize uh, the resource consumption. The role of IT and facilities management is evolving. We are able to collect uh, and analyze huge volumes of data, data that simply was not available to us in the past. If we have the data, we can use that to motivate the people inside the building to use less. We can also design strategies for reducing the building's energy use. We have already begun the process of integrating the building technologies, the information technologies that are part of this partnership with IBM as part of our core curriculum of our architecture program. We think that this project is going to be catalytic in the way that our students begin to embrace concepts of sustainability in much more uh, significant ways than we have in the past. The ability to work with different types of um, professions, different uh, technologies are all things that you might not really think of when you first are getting interested in architecture, but it is going to be very important. Building technology and information technology tools are essential to the future of our profession. We are a microcosm of a larger society and universities can demonstrate opportunities that may be more difficult to achieve 
in a broader community uh, situations.